Have you ever needed to create shipping labels for a mass mail campaign, or how about other purposes? You're in luck. All you need is a list of contacts from an Excel data sheet or Outlook contacts, and you can transform them into personalized labels with Mail Merge. First, open Word. Go to the Mailings tab and click on Start Mail Merge. Select Labels. Don't use this because this will only give you duplicates of a single contact. Choose the label vendor and product number of the paper you'll be using. If you can't see the individual labels here, make sure you go back to the Layout tab and select Grid Lines. Now go back to the Mailings tab and click Select Recipients. You could manually create a list, but I recommend going with a more automated process by using one of these two options. Let's look at each. Selecting from Outlook contacts will give you lists of contacts to choose from. But if you don't see the contact list you want to use, it may be because the list is one that someone else shared with you. All you need to do is copy those contacts into a new folder. Right click the contact list and select new folder. We'll call ours mail merge. And then copy all the contacts from the shared folder into the new folder. Control A selects all, Control C copies, Control V paste. Back in Word, we'll see our contact list. If your list is like mine and in a database file, click Use Existing List and browse through the list and click Open. Because our data has a header in the first row, we want to make sure that we have this checked. That way, Word will know that our data is starting in the second line. Our list is now linked. Feel free to click Edit Recipient List to remove contacts from this particular merge. Now we can input addresses. Click Address Block. You can choose the formatting and remove the company name depending on how you want this to look. Let's preview the results to see what our label looks like. It only shows the first label, and that's okay for now. I don't like the way this looks, so I want to change the font. Highlight the address block and go to the Home tab and make changes. Now to fill in the other labels with the rest of the contacts. Go back to the Mailings tab and select Update Labels. If everything looks good at this point, go to Finish and Merge and Print Documents. Be mindful that if you're printing a range, Word is referring to the number of contacts or labels, not number of pages. I'm going to select All and click OK. If you get lost through this or want to use other Mail Merge features, just go to the Mailings tab and click Start Mail Merge and use the wizard. It will also help walk you through it. But for now, you should know the basics of creating your own labels with Mail Merge. Mm -hmm.